my meetings and show my athletic ability on a big stage. So I was really happy and impressed with my results, but um, it's just part of the hard work I've been putting in. Uh, and I was really grateful for the outcome. Do you go in with an idea of what you want to show, and did you meet those or surpass the numbers? Um, I guess kind of an idea, but I just go out there, just leave it all online. You know, you never know how things are gonna go. You gotta be ready for any form of adversity or anything that happens. You know, may not be feeling the way you imagine you'd be feeling going to the 40 or anything. So I just I knew I was gonna go out there, take the coaching, and just do what I was told the last month and a half during my combine prep, and I get psyched out because. Uh, a lot of that stuff's mental, uh, especially being on such a big stage. Did you do it better than you thought? Um, yeah, I did really well. Uh, I wanted to look, run a little bit uh, faster on my 40, but I did really well. Did you get the impression from talking to teams that you surprised them with your, with your performance? Um, yeah, uh, I guess uh, in some ways, um, I kind of surprised myself. Uh, my agility numbers are pretty good, um, and the uh, vertical went really well in 40. I knew I was going to run fast in my 40. A lot of teams thought I was a little bit slower than that, but I knew I was going to run fast in my 40. So uh, I wanted to run a little bit faster, but I, I'll take what I can get definitely and uh, keep improving, you know? What you, did you work out today do the 40 again? Or? Say it again. Did you do the 40 again today? No, I just came and did uh, just because I left all the combine stuff in there. Chase said something at the combine about he didn't want to get um, – People think he's the try-hard guy, but he doesn't want to be the slow, you know, the white guy, the kind of that. <laughs> he did say that. I mean, what? Those were his words. Yeah. What does what does he show people? What does he show a teammate? Uh, he's a high-intensity guy. He works hard. You know. Uh, I mean, I guess he's just kind of afraid that people would think that he's trying hard. But I mean, me personally, I can never knock someone for giving full effort or, you know, trying to be the best teammate they can be. So. Um, I don't see what his concern is uh, as far as himself personally. Uh, to me, he comes off as a person who works hard and cares about the team, cares about himself. Um, so, like I said, I never knock him for uh, doing it. And at the end of the day, you know, you're trying to make money out here. You're trying to do the best you can and put yourself in the best position. So, I mean, if I was him, I really would be worried about what someone else was thinking. What have you heard from scouts? Like, where, where do you think you might go in, in the draft? Uh, I don't even get into that stuff, you know, it's really early. And uh, told my agent from the beginning, I really don't want to know about that stuff. Just let me know if I got to work out or if I have a meeting, uh, because you know things can happen. I'm trying to get off, give off the best impression I can, and uh, things will happen. I'll just supposed to having to cause it fall the way they will. Um, I don't need to hear anybody pat me on the back or say anything because, regardless, I still got to go out there and play and perform. So um, I, I really, honestly, don't know where uh, I'm gonna go uh, this or that. I haven't really asked about it. So, Do you have any meetings set up or? Uh, I've had I had a lot of meetings. I had like five or six meetings yesterday. Yeah, so I've I've had some good meetings and uh, workouts scheduled. Can you say who you're scheduled with? Uh, I don't know. Uh, looking for I know I have some scheduled looking for but I know I have met with like the Patriots, the Giants, uh, the Jets, the Cardinals, the Raiders. Uh, I met with pretty much everybody at the combine, but uh, I'll probably have a few more meetings while I'm out here in uh, Ann Arbor. Those teams that you just mentioned, were those workouts here, meetings here? Uh, just meetings. meetings, no workouts uh, just meetings. because it was a day before Pelly, so everybody saw me today. But I do have some workouts heading forward. I can't pinpoint any teams. I haven't looked at the calendar yet. Before the, the bowl game, you talked to you and, and Levert, and you, you know both of you were <coughs> considering your options. Why do you think he said, did you have a conversation with why why he decided to stay? Um, no, not really. I mean, I just, it, it was all preference. Uh, we both felt that we were ready and uh, mature enough to make the next step and go to the league. Uh, but it's all about preference and what you want to do personally. And he decided to stay, and you know I backed him when I decided to leave. He backed me on that. Uh, it felt kind of weird, uh, especially just being out here and knowing uh, I'm not in school anymore. He's still here because uh, we came in together. But um, you know I'm in full support of him. He's in full support of me. I talk to him pretty much almost every day, uh, call him and everything. So. Uh, it's, uh, I didn't really speak with him about it, but it was, it is kind of weird, you know, just, uh, cause we just been together our entire time here. How good can he be? Uh, as good as LeVert wants to be, he can be the best, uh, he's one of the best athletes I've ever been around. He can uh, dunk a ball, uh, just run fast, roll out of bed, run fast, uh, naturally patient, competitor, uh, one of the best players I've been around, football players I've been around, for sure. Do you feel like the secondary, how do you think it shapes up for this fall? Uh, really well. Uh, Ambry, I think a lot of people are, I not underestimate him, but I think he's a really good player. 
Um, he didn't get that many opportunities, of course, because me and LeVert, but I think he's a really good player. Um, he's a little bit taller than me. He's fast. He competes. Um, and LeVert's going to bring him along uh, in the same fashion as we will push and pull off of each other. So everything's going to be fine. And the safeties are fine. You got Brad Hawkins from Eric Woods. Um, you got Josh Mattel is still there. So I think everybody's fine as far as the secondary. Sorry if you've already been asked this, David, but do you, you know, especially given your combine performance, do you, do you feel kind of slept on at all? Sometimes you don't seem to get the publicity that some of these other guys get yet, even though you had <coughs> the top performances and the you know flexibility and all of that. Uh, it is what it is, you know. I can't really. I just kind of try and focus on the stuff I can control. Uh, I'm not really like a big media guy or anything like that, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I just kind of stay to myself. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter with someone on the media saying, as long as whoever's making the decision can make a, a good decision and bring me in, that's all that matters. Uh, I don't really need any uh, props or stuff in the media. How much is your Michigan performance, the fact that you, you really pretty much locked down pretty much every receiver that you covered in your career, how much do you feel like that kind of prepares you, you know, for the league, just given that you don't get talked about that much because teams really aren't throwing it? Um, just in the sense that I'm ready to compete. That's all I did here. That was my position. That was my job. That was my role. 